a sad, sad time. The entire film community for the tragic accident that occurred on the set of Rust. My channel is all about the film industry, everything Hollywood. And this is from the perspective of an actor, of an executive producer, somebody who's been in the industry 20 years and who has worked on productions such as low, low budget independent films with fight scenes, with action, with horror, and, and all the effects that go along with it. And every single role has required some some sort of stunt from fighting to shooting to having to wear the squibs, having weapons on set, running with a machete, getting the miners pack, explosion, and having shotguns pointed directly at me while they shot blanks. And I've also worked on larger budget union SAG movies that have proper protocols in place, requirements for meeting those safety standards. That's the production's primary concern. I wanna talk about this because I wanna bring an understanding to my audience and to people out there on YouTube if you see this, because I see a lot of comments that are being made on different videos where it shows the I'm not gonna say ignorance, because I don't wanna cut anybody down, but F it, I'm gonna say ignorance. <laughs> the ignorance of people who are making these comments. It's hard to even talk about this or fathom that this has happened, because I could not imagine being in that position of one moment, you're all working and doing your job and making progress, and, and then the next something so tragic just changes the course of everything forever. Overnight, a vigil held in Albuquerque, New Mexico to remember cinematographer Helena Hutchins. No one should die on a film set ever. The 42-year-old was killed this week on the set of the movie Rust after superstar Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun that moments before was declared safe. Amidst the despair and sadness, countless unanswered questions and the potential for serious legal consequences. There have been a couple instances historically of something tragic such as this happening. According to a statement from Alec Baldwin's management, a prop gun filled with blank cartridges misfired. The director, Joel Souza, was also critically injured. And she sort of has been under these very difficult circumstances. It's not the first time cast or crew have been killed by a prop gun on set. Brandon Lee, the son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee, was killed in 1993 after a gun that was supposed to be filled with blanks was fired at him during the production of The Crow. And four years ago, a similar incident killed a stuntman in Brisbane on the set of a music video. Hi, my name is Helena Hutchins. Investigators looking into the latest incident. A spokesman for the production says the entire cast and crew are absolutely devastated, sending condolences to Helena's family and loved ones. The tragedy that occurred on the set of Rust is a very incredibly rare instance. I do want to say that as I've read through some comments, I see some people will blame the actor for responsibility of this. And uh, that's just not the case because when you work on a production, now independent films with the lower budget, I would say are much more risky because we don't have all the exact requirements in place and the protocols that must be met to meet the standards of SAG and the unions. So therefore, the importance sometimes is just getting the shot and moving on. Let's get the shot, let's do what we gotta do and move on. A crew member telling the LA Times, there should have been an investigation into what happened. There were no safety meetings. There was no assurance that it wouldn't happen again. All they wanted to do was rush, rush, rush. So therefore, we all work to do our best, execute the scenes and do whatever we gotta do. On the production of Rust, there were complaints uh, made about unsafe working conditions, which is a very common complaint in the industry. Hours before Hutchins' tragic death, NBC has learned several crew members walked off set, concerned about the film's safety procedures. 
and it's a consistent complaint in the industry. The reason that there's a pure responsibility on the set of Rust of somebody other than Alec Baldwin is because each individual person or group of people on a set is designated to their area of expertise. So Alec Baldwin's job is to know his dialogue, know his character inside and out, play his role, and of course I saw that he's a producer on the film. There could be a million people, literally a million plus one people, who are producers on a movie production. You could provide somebody with a pair of socks and they'll say, I'll give you a producer credit. That can happen because they may have done something on, on set. But producers are very important people on the set because the producers manage everything and all the personalities and everything that's going on on set. Productions are not allowed to have live rounds on set. Oftentimes, we have prop guns. The prop guns, though, and this is what audiences do not really understand. When you have a prop gun, that is, most of the time, real guns, real weapons, because you have to have that real element to movie making. Uh, people assume, oh, you're just an actor. Audiences and people outside of the film industry assume that everything we do on camera is all about movie magic, movie magic. Excuse me, guys. No, it's not. Because the reason that the prop guns are real guns is because we know how you guys are going to be and you're going to look at every little detail and then you're going to go online and go IMDB and then destroy the production because say you saw an orange dot on an airsoft gun, how much would that distract you and take you out of the experience of the movie? And then there's certain little internet warriors that wanna go online and then write about it and like harm the production and the whole team. One time I was, uh, we had a, a premiere of um, Nation's Fire at Scooter Haven, one of my um, favorite places here in Florida. and. You know, it's a biker community location in Florida where we filmed some of our, you know, final scenes of our movie. And we had a screening there. And some guy comes out of the bar, cigarette hanging out his mouth, like, all his chains on and shit, and comes up to me like, like he's a fucking badass. And he's like, yeah, so, uh, I didn't watch the movie. It's all just bullshit Hollywood movie magic shit. I was like, excuse me? What'd you say? I was like, let me tell you something, man. I worked my ass off in this movie, and so did everybody else. The fight scenes you see, those are real. Okay? The action that you see, that's real. And we go through it several times over and over and over again to get different angles. I've worked on productions where literally we've been in a war field, and there were explosions going off and gunfire and shit just happening all over the place. And yes, it was scary, but you gotta finish your part and you get it done. You know what I mean? Fight scenes, you coordinate those fight scenes. So you throw in your left and right hooks. People didn't believe that I really like threw the punches in my fight scenes. I'm like, what the hell do you think happened? Do you think I had strings attached to my arms and then some guy or stunt coordinator, like threw the punches for me? No, I gotta do that. And that's the difference when you work with really low budget independent films is that these the productions cannot afford to spend so much on all of the training and the stunt coordinating and all the, the extreme um, action sequences that they wanna add. And then of course they can't afford all the CGI that you put in post-production why is that? Because it's super freaking expensive and oftentimes it looks cartoonish if you ask me. So productions like to stick with the old school, real deal. All right, let's get this raw ass footage so that we can make a movie and bring our audience into our world. We don't want to lose that connection with our audience. Alec Baldwin is an actor. An actor who focused on his side of his work and who trusted the team 
knowing that live rounds are not allowed on a movie production. There is always a weapons advisor, a licensed weapons specialist who is on set or should be on set and at all times with the weapon. So if you're an actor and you have to carry a revolver in your sling, you will be followed by that team who is ensuring everybody's safety on set. The head armorer on this production was 24-year-old Anna Gutierrez-Reed. She had recently told a podcast that she almost didn't take her first job because she wasn't sure if she was ready. Rust w is her second job as the head armor on a production. When it comes to this, you have to have solid experience because people's lives are in your hands. This is not a time for trial and error once you get on set. Okay. Gutierrez Reed also had made a statement. I think loading blanks was the scariest thing to me because I was like, oh, I don't know anything about it. But she said that her famous father helped to train her. Why wasn't it blanks in the gun? Why was it live rounds? There's an affidavit from a Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputy. It described the events, but it stated, during the filming of the movie, the assistant director, Dave Halls, grabbed one of three prop guns that was set up by the armorer, Hannah Gutierrez. Okay, so this states right there that this was one of the guns that she was fully responsible for. It means it's her job to keep an eye on this gun and to not leave the gun alone, ever. Here it states it was left on a cart. The cart is a gray in color rolling table with two layers and was left outside of the structure due to COVID-19 restrictions. So were they concerned about the gun catching COVID? Client learned one of the prop guns was then grabbed by the assistant director, Dave Halls, and he took it to the actor identified as Alec Baldwin, who was inside the structure. As the assistant director handed the gun to Alec, he yelled, cold gun, indicating the prop gun did not have any live rounds. Well, clearly he didn't know that. He just assumed. And maybe he just assumed that because what prop gun is going to carry live rounds? If you're armorer is doing their job. The prop gun was fired by the actor, Alec Baldwin, striking cinematographer and the director who was standing right behind her. Fiant later learned the assistant director, Dave Halls, did not know live rounds were in the prop gun when he had given it to actor Alec Baldwin. Well, then he shouldn't have yelled out cold gun because he didn't check it. I think a charge of negligent homicide is likely in this case, but not necessarily for the person who pulled the trigger. More likely for those in the chain of command. New allegations against Dave Halls, the assistant director responsible for safety on set and the man who handed Baldwin the loaded gun. Licensed pyrotechnician Margaret Gull claims Halls failed to maintain a safe environment when she worked with him on a previous project basically yelling at people that we need to get things done, ignoring people when they say that they need a minute to do something safely. Gall says she raised her concerns about Halls to the production, but nothing happened. Same things that happened on our show happened here, but with much more devastating effects. Weapons advisor could have been off busy and being called and pulled in 10 different directions. Who knows? And something could have slipped. And that's when the assistant director said, here, take this gun. When I worked on the last production I just did, which was a horror film, that production team followed SAG protocol to a T. When I had to carry my weapon, I played a detective and we had the weapons advisor who him and his team was in charge of my gun. Prior to handing it over to the actor, they get the crew together and that will be several people, everybody on set. They come around and he opens the chamber and shows everybody, do you see? Gets a verbal response, shows me this is empty, okay? And in a Western set, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of revolvers. So if you're an actor and you have to carry a revolver in your sling, you will be followed by that team who is ensuring everybody's safety on set. We do use blanks 
or dummy bullets or which can still cause great injury or even death. I have to wear this, I have to use this, and I have to point this. So, and I have to essentially shoot this. So I have to make sure that we are doing this as safely as possible and that there is limited risk of any projectile coming out of that weapon, okay? Because I know as an actor, and as we see with Alec Baldwin and how absolutely shockingly devastated he appears to be and for good reason because that is the last thing that he expected to happen because you trust the team on the production that they are doing their part and ensuring the safety of everybody on set and that's their whole job when it comes to and now I know how many moving parts can get going on on a production. As an actor that, or a crew on a movie set, it's, it's grueling work for all of them. A client learned what had happened to the prop gun once it was fired. The prop gun was handled by the armorer identified as Hannah Gutierrez and given to the assistant director, Dave Halls. The armorer was given the prop gun after it was fired by actor Alec Baldwin. She then took the spent casing out of the prop gun. When deputies arrived on scene, the prop gun was handed to arriving deputies by armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed. Here it does state too, since the fatal shooting on Russ, two former colleagues from the movie The Old Way told the Daily Beast that she was a bit careless with the guns on set. They alleged that she had handed a gun to a child on set without checking it properly. Crow suggested to the LA Times that after his initial doubt, her family lineage in the industry helped bolster his trust in her. My point exactly, people. Get the heck out of here. Here's Reed is the daughter of veteran armor Thel Reed. And Crow stated, she was without a lot of experience, but coming from her family lineage, I thought she was exceptional professional. Got it. The, uh, I would trust my team in knowing that my weapon is safe and is safe for me to use in my scene because that's what they're there for. Everybody works so hard on productions. I mean, if, if, if people who are outside of the film industry came in and worked for a couple of days, you guys would see. You'd be, you'd be sweating and palpitating just observing how much work goes into one day of shooting. And then you'd get see all those people in a whole new light and give them so much credit for what they all do. It's a group of incredible people, and it is, because they're doing it out of passion and doing it because that's what they love to do. The last thing that should ever happen is somebody losing their life at work, trying to create beauty and entertainment.